Hello all, welcome to Opa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 37 in PySpark playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about spark.sql.functions.transform function. In our previous video, we have discussed about same transform function which is available on top of the data frame. But this time, we are going to discuss about a transform function which is part of this uh, SQL dot functions module inside PySpark. So there is a slight difference between how this transform function will function in with comparison with the data frame transform function. So please watch previous video also to get a better idea about the differences. So let's focus about this SQL dot functions dot transform function in this video. So firstly, this function can be applied only on a columns which are array type. So if your column is not array type, then this function will not work actually. So only on array type columns you can apply this. And what it does? It does the exactly same thing. On top of that column, it will perform some kind of transformations, whatever you write it. And it will finally return you back a column which is array type only. Okay. So these transformations can be written as a function and pass that function to this transform function. If all this is not making sense at this moment, I will practically explain you this. Before that, let's create a data frame like this, where you have a third column, which is skills column, which holds a array as a data type. If you see, this is an array. So array of values in skills column. So once we do that, what we are doing, we are using a transform function and we are supplying our array type column to it. And we are using a function here. We write a function in line here. We haven't created separately. You can write like this also using lambda expression, or you can create a function separately altogether like this, and then pass that function name also. When I practically show you this, you will make more sense of it. So let me go to browser. So this is my Databricks workspace, and here let's try to create a new notebook. And this notebook name I will be naming like functions transform notebook. Okay. So Python is a default language. This is my cluster. So let me hit create button to create this notebook. So let me close this pop up here and let's try to create a data frame which has one array type column as well. So data variable tuple, maybe let's say ID, then this is a name column, then maybe skills column. So Mahir has a skill of like maybe Azure and .NET. Okay. So this is one row. In, um, in my data frame. Now let's try to add a second row also. Wafa is name and maybe AWS and Java. Okay, so now let's try to create a variable called schema. To this variable, I am passing my column names ID, name, then finally skills. Spark keyword will give you Spark session object. This you know already. Create data frame function can be used to create a data frame. This also, you know, this from my previous videos. So, please watch all my previous videos to make better idea because all the videos are in sequence order. So, finally, let's try to print or show this data frame. So, when I hit shift enter, the cell will execute. And once the cell execution completes, I can actually see my data frame printed in the output here. You can see ID column, name column skills column and here what i will be doing is let me print schema as well so that i can show you clearly this skills column is actually array type you can see skills column is array type so so far it is good now what i am doing is i want to apply some transformation on top of this column and uh, the, which is array type using a transform function and i will define what kind of logic i have to apply there itself so what I will be doing is from data frame. So let's select ID column. Also let's select the name column. Then I want to select a skills column by applying some transformation. So what I will be doing, I will be demonstrating this transform function for that. So before using that function, I have to import it from PySpark dot SQL dot functions module. Let's import this a transform function. You can see transform. Also, let's try to import upper function as well. 
why because what i am trying to do is i want to take this skills column and i want to convert these elements to capitals actually okay so i let me do here so i am using a transform function so let me close this and here we can use a transform function to the transform function we have to pass my column name so skills is the column which i am passing which is array type and then here as a second parameter i should define a function which do some kind of custom transformation so what i will be doing i will be doing a lambda syntax first lambda whenever you see lambda think like from there a inline function we are writing that means we are not defining function outside there itself we are creating one small function logic and then to the function uh, every row or every element of this particular skill column will be passed that means in the first iteration this will be passed then in the second iteration this will be passed so that every element whatever you pass that you have to define by some variable so x i am giving x lambda x that means inside a function it is passing x and x will hold this this value and this value okay so first time it will hold this value second time it will hold this value like that and once it will go inside a function this is where you have to define a logic so what i want to do i want to simply convert that array type data to capitals so that's it okay so i have defined my transform function to take a skills array and then created a lambda function a small inline function here which takes every row or every element of that column and converts it to upper okay so once the transform function execution completes maybe i want to give a alias name for that column also like skills okay so now finally let's show this entire data frame and now if you closely observe i have created a skills column i converted them to capital letters by writing this transform function and writing a custom transformation into the transform function so you may be wondering like we have to write like this only can't we write a separate function as i shown in my previous video yes you can write so let me do that so let me define a function like convert array to upper so this is a function name and to this function every element will be passed right so that element i am i am going to denote as x i can write here abcd also up to me so i am just creating a variable or a argument that takes every element of the array type column then inside a function it is simply going to return a array type value array type it has to return array type value only but it has to convert that to upper case because that is what my logic right so once uh, my function is ready now what i am doing from data frame select same thing id name then transform function to the transform function as i said pass the column name which is array type and then here use your function which has a custom transformation so i used it okay so now finally let's try to show the results when i hit shift enter i should be seeing the same kind of output now also so my data frame execution is completed now if i clearly see i got see id name but here if you see the column name came something different right why because here we haven't used any any we haven't used any alias name for that column so whatever you have here everything will be printed as a column name and also if you closely observe it actually can uh, printing the same thing right so it it converted that to lambda function and then it is doing the same thing so what i will be doing i will be using a alias here to give a alias name for the column so maybe like skills okay so when i hit shift enter now still it should work and i should be seeing my array type values as capital letter see here so even when i return a function completely outside and when i pass the function name here still i will be able to apply this custom transformation using the transform function so the key takeaway is this transform function which is available inside pyspark sql functions will take only array type columns and it will execute a function or it will execute a custom transformation and the data what it returns is also a array type only i hope you got a clear idea about it thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever i add videos thank you so much